Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we learned how we can save data into Firebase real-time database. And in this video, we will learn how we can fetch the saved data back from Firebase real-time database. So let's open our Android Studio project and inside this class that is authors view model, we will create one more function to fetch all the authors that we have inside our real-time database. So I will create fun fetch authors like this and as we need this thing this database reference here as well and we need it everywhere where we want to work with authors node we need it. So I will make it as a class variable so that we can access it anywhere inside our class and I will make it private. So we have the firebase reference of the authors node. Now inside the function fetch authors we will use the same reference and we will write db authors dot add listener for single value event. Now we have three functions here. One is add value event listener and this function will give us a callback anytime there is a change in the database. So if you want to get real time updates of the changes in the node you can use this function. Now we have this function that is add child event listener. It is almost the same. It will also give the real time updates, but only for the nodes that are changed or added. And this function is called only once to give all the data inside that particular node. In this case, the authors node. So we will use this function because right now I don't want to get the real time updates. So we will use this function add listener for single value event and inside this function we will pass value event listener like this. So we have object and then value event listener. Now inside it we need to implement some functions. So press alt enter here and select implement members and we have two functions on cancelled that we don't need to worry about right now but I will change the parameter name to error and we have on data changed and inside this function we will get all the data that we have inside this authors node. So we will name it as snapshot. So we will get the database snapshot and we will get everything that is inside this authors node. So inside this authors node we have multiple authors. So we need to loop through all the authors to fetch the authors. But first we will check if snapshot contains some data or not. And to do this we can use this exists function and if we have something inside the snapshot it will return true. And if the snapshot is empty we will get false. So first we will check if we have some data or not. Then we will traverse all the children of the author's node and to do this we will write for author snapshot in snapshot.children. This way we will traverse through all the children in this snapshot. Now inside this for loop we will get all the authors one by one. So we have multiple authors here and we will get authors one by one and to get the author we will create an author object here and we will get it from author snapshot. So we have author snapshot because everything inside firebase database is a snapshot. This is a snapshot. This is also a snapshot and this is also a snapshot. But if we get this snapshot we can convert it or map it to our authors object. So we have val author, we have the snapshot and this snapshot contains this part of our Firebase data. So we will get that snapshot and we will get the author from that snapshot. So we will write dot snapshot dot get value and inside this function we will define the class that we want to convert the snapshot into. In this case we want to convert the snapshot to author class. So we will write author class dot java like this. Now we have the author. 
but for every author we have the id as well that we are not storing inside the author node so this is the id and we are just storing the name because we are storing the author inside the id and here when we are getting the author we will get the name only because this is our object that we are converting into so we have the author containing only the name and to get the key we will write here author dot id equals to and we will get the id from the snapshot again so we will write author snapshot dot key and this will return the key and this key here will return the id of each author so we will get this value so we have the id as well now we can add this author to a list and we can return it from this fetch authors function but here you can see we are inside value event listener and these functions are getting called asynchronously so we cannot write a return statement here to return from this function but again we will create a live data like we created earlier for this result so again we will create for our authors list so again we will create private val authors equals to mutable live data and it is of type list of author now again we will create a live data because it is immutable and it is also of type list of type author and when we will get this live data we will return authors like this now we will put all the authors inside this authors mutable live data and we will get it outside this class as live data and not mutable live data so let's do it inside this if we will create a val authors and it is a mutable list of author so we will create the authors like this now what we will do we will put this author inside this authors mutable list but first we need to check this author is not null and to do this we can use author let and we can put authors dot add it like this so we have all the authors inside this mutable authors list now we will put the authors inside our mutable live data and to do this after the for loop we will write underscore authors dot value equals to authors so we are referring to this authors everything is fine we just need to call this function to get all the authors from our firebase database and we need to observe this live data author inside our fragment so let's do it first we will call inside on activity created we are inside the authors fragment now and inside the function on activity created i will call view model but we don't have a view model here because we were working on the add author dialog fragment so again we need to create a view model here so we will create private late init where and it is view model of type authors view model and we will initialize it here so we have view model equals to view model providers dot off then this then get and we will get authors view model class dot java like this now with the help of this view model we will call the fetch authors function so we will write view model dot fetch authors now we will observe view model dot author and it is live data i think i should rename it to authors like this now everything is fine so let's go back to authors fragment and this time we will observe authors dot observe name doesn't matter i just changed it because i want to give proper names so we have first parameter as view life cycle owner and next parameter as observer now we have a list of authors 
that we can use to display inside our recycler view. So this is our recycler view. One more thing that I need to define here is app layout manager and I will define a linear layout manager here because I want to create a vertical list. You can play with the layout manager if you want but for now linear layout manager is enough. By default it is vertical. So come back to authors fragment and we will use this recycler view to display the list of authors and the ID of the recycler view is recycler view authors. And I have already created the authors adapter that we need to display the recycler view. If you don't know how to create a recycler view adapter, you can check the recycler view tutorial. The link to the tutorial is given in the description of the video. So we have this adapter and inside this adapter we are using this layout that we created for the recycler view. Now come back to authors fragment and here what we'll do is we will write recycler view authors or we can do it here only. So we will create an adapter. So we have private val adapter and it does authors adapter like this. Now we will set this adapter as our recycler view adapter and to do this here we can write recycler view authors dot adapter equals to adapter. Now we need to supply the list of authors to this adapter and to do this we will open the authors adapter and here you can see we have a private where authors of type mutable list of author and here we can create one more function to set the authors. So we will create fun set authors again we will take authors here in this function as a parameter of type list of type author. Now inside this function we will write authors actually we will write this to refer to this class because we have the same names. So we have this dot authors equals to authors like this. Now we need to cast this authors as mutable list because we are accepting an immutable list here. Now we need to call notify dataset changed so that our authors will be displayed by this recycler view. So this function is important. Now come back to authors fragment and here we can simply call adapter dot set authors and we can pass it. And everything is fine. So let's check if it is working or not. As you can see we have the list of authors right now we have only one author in our database and it fetched the author from the firebase real-time database let's try adding one more you can see the author is added but it is not reflected into our application this is because we are not using the real-time updates but if we open the application again you can see we have two authors. So that is all for this video friends. In the next video we will learn how we can get the real time updates from our Firebase real time database. In case you have any confusion please feel free to comment it below and I will try to help you out. And if you need my source code then the link of the source code is given in the description of this video. Finally, if you like this video, please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.